the entrance and home. Set me free from my distress, O Lord. See my lowliness and suffering and take away all my sins. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, if the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not rather rejoice when he, re when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil, the same kind of abominable things that the wicked man does, can he do this and still live? None of his virtuous deeds shall be remembered because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, he shall die. You say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair? Or rather are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked, turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life, since he has turned away from all the sins that he committed. He shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, 
that you may be revered. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, Whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny, the gospel of the Lord. The prophet Ezekiel speaking to the Israelites in the Old Testament times calls them to be aware that God is treating all persons the same. It's the choices of the wicked to turn away from wickedness to do good that bring about God's God's, uh, forgiveness to them and, and the goodness that comes from their turning away from sin. And when the virtuous man turns away from virtue and commits sins, and because of that, the consequence is his death, It's not because of God, it's because of his choice. In the gospel, Jesus deepens that and reminds them that following the law of the Lord, being righteous, being holy, is not just a matter of the letter of the law. You shall not kill. Great, I won't use any guns, I won't use any knives. It's what we say and what we do to another person that makes a significant difference. And what we say and what we do oftentimes comes from the depths of our hearts. We ask the Lord to help us with his grace to allow 
our hearts, to choose with our hearts to focus on him and not on this person, what they say or do that upsets me, not on what enters into my mind that is not helpful to me. Focus on the Lord. The collect of the Mass says, grant that your faithful may be so conformed to the Paschal observances, the Paschal observances, the observances of our Lord's death and resurrection, and that we may conform our mind and our will to dying to ourselves and the bodily discipline of Lent, that that dying to ourself may bear fruit. That the church may show the world that the way to God through repentance and prayer, we pray to the Lord. That world leaders may work together to seek justice and peace for all, we pray to the Lord. That as God made a covenant with all living things, so we, his people, may grow in our respect for life and actively protect it, we pray to the Lord. That those suffering from illness and old age may have gentle caregivers to attend to them and ease their pain, we pray to the Lord. That the members of our parish family may renew our covenant with God through sacrifice, reconciliation, and prayer, we pray to the Lord that all who are followers of Jesus Christ may open their hearts to the grace of God and embrace a continuous conversion away from the ways of the world to be more committed followers of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. For those sick with the coronavirus, that they may experience God's healing power and know the love and support of others, we pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Michaela Conley, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers, which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brother, in that by sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrificial gifts, O Lord. Accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. As I live, says the Lord, I do not desire the death of the sinner, but rather that he turn back and live.
Let us pray. May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Look with favor on your people, O Lord, that what their observance outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. The Lord, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>